Oh, good morning all. Now we're going to have a look at um, a little advancement on the plane shapes and um, we go to the star tetrahedron which is an iconic shape throughout history the shape has appeared and it's a very simple shape actually because it's made up of one large tetrahedron and four little tetrahedrons but when you put them together you'll see that the, the, it makes up two large tetrahedrons one fitting into the other now in two-dimensional um, shape you this becomes the star of David so um, that the star of David uh, also repeats itself throughout history now um, there are three different sizes um, to the star tetrahedron and there they are there always best displayed hanging actually because that gives us the shape oopsie that gives us the shape of the two tetrahedrons although it's made up of one large and four small now the four small has the pattern <coughs> and there's the large tetrahedron with the folds and there's uh, the small the smaller tetrahedrons which might be considered to be the stars of the star tetrahedron but there are four of them and those four will fit in to the slots which are cut into the large one so there's it, it's uh, there's no indecision as where to put them but they do have to be formed because they come um, as a, a flat section a um, fold out pattern and I have already built three of them and there, there, that is what you'll be forming from here. So well, let's go through this one quickly. And once again, the folds need to be defined. Like that. This one. Now, it's very important. These tabs, you do not fold remember that don't do it. it's not critical if you do it by accident but you will see later why we don't fold those at this stage so let's just um, uh, uh, attach this this extra um, cap flap fits over that side so we will apply with a glue stick We will apply the glue to the underside. Oops, hang on, where are we going to go? We're going to go, yes, to the underside of that cap flap. We go to the edges again, make sure that the edges are covered in glue. Sometimes I like to get a reflection to make sure that they're there. And it's as simple as that put pressure on pressure on there right to the edge right to the edge if it does peel up at all because you haven't put enough glue on just use a bit of super glue and pressure from underneath all matched up to the side very nicely and there we have our fourth tetrahedron ready to slot in so at this stage I have defined the score make it easier to find the cap flaps and the score and we can start and that tab too I nearly forgot that one. Let's give it a good edge, a sharp edge. Sometimes it's easier at this stage to apply the two sided tape, so we'll do that onto this big one here. I normally put two. Like that. And another one. Mm -mm. No, 
Now that that tab I only attach to its side when I've got all these small stars slotted in. Let's get my sticky tape ready. And now <clears throat> When you receive this, these slots sometimes leave behind the, the inside. I, I, have, I have just made this up, it's very simple, it looks like a plectin from a guitar. Um, I, I just cut it out of an old credit card and, and just um, filed that down just to make it a little bit sharper, but all you're wanting to do is to remove the let's see on that one particularly it's all blocked up blocked up by the by the slot and just to open that up makes it a lot easier uh, to slot in um, some of these I've done already but um, make sure you give support where you're pushing through um, you don't want to, if you have to force it sometimes, uh, it needs a little bit more. Now these, that one there, seems to be not clearing. Sometimes the, the cut piece, there we go, it doesn't come adrift. So we do it, and this is a very useful little tool, costs you nothing. I'm sure you've got an old credit card hanging about and just uh, file it down to give it a little bit of a sharper edge and it's a perfect tool and then now we slot obviously from this side now the reason we don't bend that is to give it a little bit of strength when we're forcing it through the, the slot uh, these are slotting in quite easily but sometimes it's a little bit stubborn that right when it's like that I normally come from this side and by squeezing it I actually pull it I pull the tab through you see there squeeze you see you'll, you'll see it when you do it okay now it's nicely flush and nicely positioned and these tabs can now be bent what I then do is to take some sticky tape and do that I think it's one or two it's not critical at all but um, once it's there that's not going anywhere and that's all you need to do no glue just keep those bent tight by the sticky tape and It will produce. All right, turn it over, push it through, pull it through, not push it through. It's really been pushed halfway, and then you pull it the rest of the way. Bend it down, and sticky tape it held in place number three pull it through through pull it through make sure yes. One more, there you go. slot it in, the tighter it is the better, 
to hold it in place but you do need the stiffness of that tab sometimes to push it through like I did then help, help it to find the slot oh, that one was a little bit stubborn which is not a bad thing would help if I put it through on the right side uh, apologies for that Got distracted by the dog there. there we go that was easier and pull it tightly through just squeeze it between thumb and finger and that actually pulls it up that another one there and that is <clears throat> all the little stars or tetrahedrons slotted in perfectly to the right position now we close the bigger tetrahedron and the first one we do we've already got our two-sided tape ready we'll peel that off oopsie come on that one and that one Always at the corners sometimes if they haven't been pushed tight. Like so. Edge to edge once again. Push pressure from the inside onto the outside. Well supported that and then that flat that comes down and these flaps give a nice finish and these <coughs> with its stick glue Right to the edge, plenty of, plenty of glue. All four, you do, all four of them. Any excess will wipe off the tissue. Do that one first. See. Right, go to the edge. Up to the edge with your nail, push it in tightly. finish any any edges that persist on bending up a little bit of super glue will persuade them back in place and there we have our own star tetrahedron and then I just take a bit of nylon, fishing nylon, and um, put a needle through and just thread the nylon through, and, and there it can hang very, very nicely. And that's our silver backed star tetrahedron.
Quite beautiful. Thank you and enjoy this little project because this one a little different from the rest. It's probably one of my favorites. So thank you once again. <laughs>